Creators, Happy New Year. However you felt about 2020, the fact is, it's in the history books. So to help you venture into 2021, I asked a few really successful creators for one piece of advice for your channel in the new year. Here's what they had to say. My advice is to pre-film your content. You never know when something unexpected is gonna pop up in life. When things get busy, you'll be so happy you have a bunch of videos in the bank. And one of the things that's really helped in knowing Orange's longevity is the fact that we stick to a schedule. Fans know exactly when they can come to the channel and see new videos. And that's really valuable because it creates a trust with the audience. When you build that expectation and deliver, it creates trust. And that trust will keep the audience coming back. But it's important to be consistent and more than just your regular uploads. Try to be consistent with your editing, your content, your style, and your overall brand. My advice is get others involved. While no one will ever be as passionate or dedicated to your channel as you are, by getting others involved, whether as employees or even just friends, it can help improve your content, allow you to focus on the things you are best at, and give you somebody else to hold you accountable when trying to achieve your goals. From what I learned in 2020 myself, it would probably be don't put yourself in a box. Like I was just trying way too hard to make sure that I was doing exactly what my followers wanted to see, exactly what my subscribers wanted to see. I was afraid that if I did anything different that they wouldn't like it. But at the end of the day, I didn't know that until I tried it. That risk pays off a lot of times. I watch so many of you put out ridiculous content every single day. However, you take the comments for granted. Get in there, reply, engage, build relationships. This is not just consumption, this is community. You are an influencer. You influence. So when you're creating your content, think not only about yourself, but about others and how you want to influence their life. Make sure you're inspiring them in a way that you would like to see the world evolve into, whether you're making them happy after a long day of work, or maybe you're turning into creatures and monsters to inspire them to be creative. That's what I do. You are an influencer and you will influence the people that watch you. Be that good inspiration. My advice, is to find balance. Don't just work all year. Make sure that you schedule time into play and find hobbies. Because if you show up to work and you're burnt out, your audience will sense it and you'll really struggle to create new, authentic, and exciting content that your audience will love and want to keep coming back for. So take good care of yourself so that you can take great care of your content and it will continue to motivate and inspire your audience. My advice is to think big and try not to be discouraged by short-term hurdles. In the long run, the only things that matter are making good content and staying consistent. Good luck to you. I'll see you in the freaking interwebs. <laughs> I'll see you out there. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs>